Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the New Lemon 7 channel. And after today's performance, Neil and finally, after all the Celtic fans saying it, uh, finally uses the 3-5-2 and you can tell the difference when you see two strikers, actual strikers on the park, can't you, Lewis? 3-5-2, year for 10 in a row. Because, well, Lewis didn't watch the game today, but I did. And the difference when you have strikers in the 3 I think the goal highlights, how I did that was Reddit, how they got them, I, I, won't, I do not disclose. Um, <laughs> before we get into the three things we learned, um, It was a it was a better game than we've seen lately, and I think that all right, Frimpong didn't have the best of games because you know, but he is suited to that kind of role, didn't he? Yeah, Frimpong played at right wing is just Frimpong played at right wing is just also um, Duffy getting his first start for the Celtic uh, Celtic and getting his debut goal. You know, yeah. he's six foot four or something. What a he was like the Terminator just oh, destroying the players. Yeah, Julian was a bit shaky today, I'm not going to lie, he was a bit shaky. Um, from what I've heard from people who did watch the game, Scott Brown has, his name's caught up to him, Well, in some parts of the game he did do some good passes, but, you know, yeah. most of the game he was bang average, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think he's, I think the only thing he's really good at is getting the, back his defence. You know... You know, yeah. Um. Also, as I said, um, before I right. So the first thing we learned, um, obviously we said it in the intro, like the start of the video there, is the three five two. It, it works very well with Celtic. Also, you've seen when um Kamala came on for I think it was Ed Ed Edward. Yeah. Um, he missed an absolute sitter in the first bit. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, Lewis. He missed an absolute sitter. Brilliant by Edward. He got past about four or five men. Then what a late, unselfishly passed it to Kamala. But, you know, he got his goal in the end. Um, and you saw still 3-5-2 works. And that's the first thing we learned was that the 3-5-2 is here to stay. The 3-5-2 should be used in every game. Home, away, European. Because as I say, we can't afford to lose or draw this season. Because like Rangers are already six points ahead of us, but we've got kind of got an advantage this week. We have got St Mirren away. That's our, our game that get cancelled. And Hibs, um, Hibs are playing Rangers on Sunday. We've got Livingston at home. See if we beat Livingston on home on Saturday, and the and Rangers get beat on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and before we get into the second thing, um. And if Rangers lose on Sunday, we will be second in the league. Rangers will be, yeah. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. I'm right. Yeah. But if they draw, I think we'll be first. Yeah, first. Yeah, we'll be first. So on to the second thing, Lewis. Um, is great. Yeah. The second thing is. Yeah, go on. Yeah. And also, um, um, you seen, I said in the second, I just said in a minute ago, a couple of minutes ago, you seen when Duffy has that presence of defending and attacking, you know, he's seen his goal. What a difference it makes to defence. Yeah, I've heard that he basically kept us in the game because. He was. He did. Yeah, he, they did have a lot of attacking chances. Ross County must be the one of the most unlucky teams in the league. They had a free kick in the first half. It hit off the post. I think it was like four or five times it hit off the post in this half. The first half. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, that was the second point. Duffy Barcast with the people on the match. I've got to say. The third point is. Lennon, just listen to your, your, your supporters, I think. <laughs> you know what I mean, like... Yeah, we've seen you play, we can, we can, we know how to play. Basically, yeah. I don't think that the manager's going to be wrong, but I don't think that he'll be Lennon. I think he's just called them and give them a brain. The real new Lennon's going to be 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and it's, um, also I've got a point. When I watched the match today, I didn't really see much of Forrest. He was, he's not a left back at all, like a, a left wi- left back, left winger. Really, to be honest with you, he is only like this. He's not. He's not at all. No, he's not. We need, we definitely need that left back position. It, it, see when you're, you're watching the game today, you miss it so much. Because obviously the situation, uh, born goalie, we don't have a left back. So well, except from Greg Taylor, but he was out for some reason. Yes. Um, I don't have a reason. I don't have a reason for Greg Taylor being out today. I don't know if he was injured or something in training. Mm. I think that's why you left out Elanusi as well in the, the side today. Yeah, and um, a final point in the the game, really. As I said before, like you seen, as I said, like the last couple of games we didn't play for, we played without a striker, and it was very frustrating to watch. But he finally put two strikers up. Edward scored a penalty in the first half. A Jetty getting the second. Um, yeah, it was Duffy get the third goal. Great, great header. I are getting the fourth, and it was Patrick Paddy, um, Polish Paddy, the fifth goal. Yeah, that's what I thought. If he didn't, if he didn't put an, um, if he was like, for example, Edward was injured, you know, apparent, you know, apparently Kamala and Ajay went match fit the other week there. You know, Forrest is a right, right winger, right mid, whatever he is. Um, so he surely he could play a bit of striker role. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's one of our most attacking players. Sometimes he doesn't show up, but uh, he's one of I mean, Steve likes, uh, I don't know what team it is, but like, maybe play Scott Brown to like, maybe like 50 minutes or even an hour on the clock, and then maybe take, for example, put on David Turnbull or something, to give Scott Brown a rest, do you know what I mean, for a couple of games or something like that, because he is a good player, but, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely last season, so I'm... So, he is a legend. Um, he, he is one of the best captains we've ever seen for Celtic. And that's not even... So guys, that was the three things and a couple of other things as well. We learned from today's match. If you want to see more of these videos, I will probably do a match preview on Friday. Um, we're going to do a match preview of Celtic vs. Livingston, and I'll see you guys in that video. And sometimes we'll just talk about football. Yes, we will.